<laughs> How we doing? Okay, so we finally, finally got there. It's been a long time and I'm really sorry. Uh, I didn't keep you up to date with the stages of the videos, but it's because I had a bit of a disaster. Things went a little bit wrong personally and on the figuratively on the boat. So the first set of sears that I made, uh, I actually made them too steep. So that would have meant that the bow would have had to have bent right, right round for the um, to get the string parallel with the sears when we're finally on. So then the second set I made, uh, I'd done the grain orientation wrong and in the middle of sanding them, actually snapped one of them off. So yeah, definitely wasn't going to be strong enough. So now this is the finished product. Um, it hasn't quite got the decoration on it yet that I wanted to do, but um, so be it. Now I did make a lot of mistakes with this bow, um, don't mind admitting it. Uh, started off, the two limbs were not matched, they weren't from the same bit of bamboo, so one of them was actually uh, still had its hollow in it, whilst the other limb was uh, just dead flat. So that's actually this limb, the bottom limb, um, it's quite a bit stiffer unfortunately. You'll probably see a little bit there, slightly out, slightly straighter on the end top limb seems to have a little bit more curve but ultimately it loses arrows it yeah sends them reasonably well so I'll show you the draw so I'm quite quite happy with how she's looking I don't think you can quite see the top limb there you go so it came out at uh, 28 pounds at 28 inches exactly uh, my drawers at 29 and 29 and a bit so it'll come out just a little bit more for me but I'm really pleased everything's looking really well um, I'm not going to do this V insert again next time this was part of the reason why the other tip floored um, I actually forgot to wrap that or didn't forget I was kind of chancing it and uh, didn't wrap the handle so that uh, when I very first strung it the limb actually pulled itself clean off um, just broke a tiny little bit of the fade so then I had to rework that get it glued in there etc etc also the poundage was really low so I ended up having to um, put maple on the belly um, and that ended up coming down really thin uh, purely just because I'm not a massive fan of heavy heavy bows um, so yeah it's uh, coming on well reasonably straight as well get a tiny little bit of rattle off the string but once I've wrapped it put the uh, bridge pads on it'll be absolutely fine but for now I'm just going to put a few arrows through it just so you can see and yeah let me see how we've done so I've gone with these it's actually a 600 grain carbon arrow uh, I'm not sure of the length, I think they're about 32 or 33 inches. Um, I have 500 grain ones which don't seem to fly as well. Um, I would have thought they'd have been better but hey ho. Okay, I've already put a few through this so uh, let me show you how she does. So we're just going for the target at the top. Tiny little ping from the string there as it hits on the uh, on the end of the bridge. Rattly tip. That's not helping anybody. Very fast. I really do like this boat. That pesky rabbit. Quite fast as well, quite pleased with it. Oh. There we go. That's why I love footballs. So 
So we'll get in there. Should look okay. I won't, won't lose it, but with an arrow on her. Okay, so it's really, really simple design. Uh, bamboo is now my favourite material to work with. The finish on that, and that's only sanded. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's not got any cracking or fretting or chrysalises. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Let me just go and show you what we've done. There you go. Not bad, not bad at all. Still trying to get used to it, so. We're not gonna complain. So there we go, really happy with the bow, cast arrows really well, um, yeah sorry we missed out a bit of the tiller project but next time I promise you we'll go the whole way through it, um, get yourself some bamboo, bit of string, really good job, cheers guys, take care. Thanks a lot.